Hi guys, so today I am going to do a tutorial showing you how to trade cryptocurrencies on the uh, Kraken exchange and um, it's quite a bit different than Poloniex so when I load this up real quick you're gonna see um, it's gonna look pretty foreign if, you've, if you're used to uh, trading websites like Poloniex and Bitrix for example so let's get on real quick and I'm already logged in so I'm just gonna click account and this is the dashboard so what is on the dashboard you'll see at the top we're already in a trading pair at the moment which is Bitcoin and euros on Kraken uh, Bitcoin is labeled XBT instead of BTC so that's just something important to note that it is the exact same coin it's just labeled differently um, and these are all of the trading pairs available on uh, Kraken. So, for example, at the very bottom we have Zcash, and you can trade Zcash with Bitcoin, US dollars, or Euros. You've got Ripple, which can be traded for Canadian dollars, Euros, uh, Japanese yen, US dollars, or Bitcoin, and so on and so forth. There's NEM. Um, USD you can trade or this is USDT that's tether you can trade tether for uh, real dollars um, Melon is an ERC 20 token uh, So is gnosis and so on and so forth So the coin that I was interested in that I needed to trade on Kraken is uh, EOS and EOS right now is paired with Ethereum, Euros, US Dollars, and uh, Bitcoin. So in order for me to trade EOS, the first thing I had to do was deposit some Ethereum to trade with. So on your dashboard here, you'll see some tabs at the top. The first thing you're going to click is Funding. And under Deposit, you're going to look for the coin you wish to deposit so like I said I want to deposit Ethereum so I'm going to find Ethereum in the list there it is and if you haven't made a deposit on Kraken in any of these coins before you're not gonna have an address loaded here you'll just have to click generate new address and then from there you'll take this address and you will paste this into the send field on your wallet whichever wallet you hold an Ethereum balance on and then you'll send X amount of Ethereum to this address. After 30 confirmations, um, you will get a notification saying your funds are ready. And then up at the top here, uh, if we switch my trading pair, well, we can either start at EOS and go to Ethereum, or we can go to Ethereum and uh, find EOS in the list, I believe. Yep, at the very top there, EOS and ETH so they're both exactly the same doesn't matter which one you choose so if we select EOS and ETH you'll notice my dashboard at the top has changed so I have a, a, a zero balance of Ethereum and a zero balance balance of EOS now this is where trading looks a lot different than um, Poloniex or Bitrix for example so if you want to see charts of what's going on between these two coins you actually have to click the charts button which is going to bring you to a different page what I like to do is I, I middle mouse click it so it just opens it up in a different tab and I can toggle between the two so you'll see the latest uh, buys and sells of the EOS ETH trade pair and the volume just like um, on uh, Bitrix or uh, Bitfinex or Poloniex. Um, the charts do look a little different. Um, I believe they're, they should be zoomable, I think. No, maybe not. Um, but I mostly look at the uh, market depth when I'm trading. So, for example, um, I can see that the latest bid to buy is 0 0.009218 Ethereum. So now I can toggle over here, and if I want to do a trade, I'm gonna click the Trade tab, click New Order, and then it's gonna ask me for the amount of EOS I wanna buy multiplied by the price of ETH I'm willing to pay 
for a total amount of ETH. Now, here's the, th the annoying thing about Kraken is there's no button to just hit maximum funds. So you'll have to type in your balance up here if you wanna if you wanna trade all of your uh, Ethereum for EOS. So let's say I had 10 Ethereum up here, I would say um, I would leave this blank, and I would type in the latest buy. If I wanna be above it, I would type in a value higher than this. If I wanna be right at it, I can use this value. Or at the top of the dashboard, you can see the last uh, sell or buy that it, that it traded for. So usually, I'll just grab this one because that's safe. And I'll copy it, and I'll paste it into the price. And then the total ETH, I'll type in, you know, however much I have. And that'll, that'll automatically output how much EOS that will buy. So once I'm finished, I can't click this right now because I'm at a zero balance. But once I'm finished, you just click this your order will appear down here and then at that point you just wait if it goes through instantly because someone is already looking to sell at the price you put in it'll clear instantly and you'll automatically see your new balance of EOS appear up here if not what you can do is you can click orders here and then you will see them queued right now in the open position once it's closed, you can see all of my previous orders that I've had on, on uh, Kraken in the past. Once it's closed, it, it loads here. And then, like I said, you'll see your balance up at the top of the dashboard. Now, once you've got your EOS, what do you do with it? You don't want to keep it on the exchange, right? Well, since EOS is an ERC-20 token, you can load it into any Ethereum wallet you want, um, preferably one that will allow you to view the balance. Android actually has an EOS wallet that's just called EOS and you can load it right on there. The nice thing about EOS is it's free to move, so it doesn't have any transaction fees once it's on your wallet. It, you don't require Ethereum to use as gas on the network to move EOS. Um, there may still be a, uh, an exchange fee for moving it off the exchange, but after that if you keep moving it between your own wallets you shouldn't see any fees. Um, so now to move my EOS off of Kraken, what we're going to do is go to funding and we are going to click withdraw and then we are going to find the coin we wish to withdraw in our queue here and you can see you know back on July 24th this is when I withdrew my last amount of EOS here so we'll find EOS in the list and I feel like I am blind at the moment Oh, at the very bottom there we go so we'll click EOS and EOS like I said um, gets deposited in an Ethereum address being an ERC20 token so you can see um, there's my EOS Android address that I moved it to I can just click that and select it if I didn't have an address, I would have to click Add Address, and it's going to ask you to name an address and then type in the address itself. At that point, um, it'll move you back to this page. Then you'll hit the drop down, you'll select your address, and then you will type in the amount, or you can click Balance or Maximum. That'll be the exact same thing. And then uh, there's the fee. So they're going to charge you a half of an EOS to move it, which at the moment is about. Uh, I think 78 to 90 cents, something like that. Um, so it's pretty high, but um, like I said, once it's moved off into your own EOS wallet, there are no more fees to, to move them. Uh, and that's that's pretty much cracking in a nutshell. So like I said, I like to keep two tabs open, one with charts of the current trading pair I'm looking at, and then the other with my dashboard. And uh, I know it's a little obnoxious compared to like Poloniex where you can actually see the chart right above as you're trading and you can just um, go right down the list and click a buy or sell bid to match it or type in slightly less and get ahead of the pack. Um, but yeah, I, I actually I like cracking quite a bit. It takes a little bit of getting used to, but it is it's efficient. It's just a different way of doing things. And uh, I hope this was beneficial to you guys. If you liked it, uh, 
let me know. If you didn't like it, also let me know. I'd like to improve my videos and uh, get more beginners in and uh, you know increase the market cap for every coin out there. I think cryptocurrency is the way of the future. So I'm looking forward to uh, talking with you guys about it and uh, helping you guys learn more and learning more myself. So thanks for watching.